some latte drinking mimosa drinking liberals got offended from his videos, which is nothing more than a big old nothing burger. Why, why would you be offended by that? Because right now I want to share with all of you something. In a newly discovered Zoom recording, the Biden-Harris team reveals how they manipulated voters that think Biden's mental decline was disinformation. Disinformation. You know, liberals, I try to understand. I I, I get it. I I get that you're afraid of Trump. I get it. But you can't let somebody rule you with fear. Yes, there are some people you should be concerned about, but it's like, (gasps) Trump, Trump, Trump's everywhere. Oh, no, people are saying that Biden's having mental decline. It's because he is. He is. I've seen four of my family members go through it. Stop being stupid. And yet you did this to the American people. So, gee, let's 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 show the world what they look like. (gasps) Why, gee, they're kind of young like myself, maybe a little bit younger. Oh, look. You ever want to know why an empire declines? These are the kind of people that would say to Caligula, yes, Caligula, you are a god. Did you know? When okay, because again, just a little short history lesson. Going to deviate off course here, just for one second. Caligula's first year, at least as it stands, he was all right. Now the Romans drank a lot of uh, wine and they put lead in it. And one day, Caligula, oh, he passed out. And he kind of went on a little bit of deep end. <laughs> and when he arose, he said, "I am a god." And when he was struggling, one. Roman senator said, I would sacrifice my life for Caligula to return. Now, one could say, well, he was just speaking just passionately. But Caligula took it to heart and made him do it. These are the kind of people that if they were alive, they'd be like, yes, Caligula, you, 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 you are, you are a god. Yeah, Joe Biden's just fine. He didn't crap his pants. That's just extra padding. So let's talk about this. So first, here, shout out again to Matt Orfala. Let's hear from one of the people. Um, you know, one of the smartest things that I think the, the party did itself uh, was over the last uh, couple of years, they actually invested in a team uh, that Tim runs, and, and you'll hear from Tim, um, to detect and, and track uh, misinformation and misinformation um, narratives in the sort of various corners of the Internet. Uh, and then actually go out and, and flag it to platforms um, as, as a violation of their policy. Uh, and so um, that work, I mean, the, the, the stuff that, that they did was a critical asset. That piece of infrastructure, I think, was one of the more important decisions that um, was made in, in sort of the party space over the last um, couple of years. Um, so let's just stop here for a second, okay? Again. All these people trying to censor information. Or he said, some of you said, gee, how come a lot of people are covering this in independent media not getting a lot of views? It's because people are tracking it. Boy, you know, you see, you you know, these, 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 uh, these latte drinking liberals, they really go down. I mean, they go down faster than adult film stars. I mean, my goodness. Talk about putting yourselves in twisted positions. These guys are more flexible than any adult performer. Am I being mean? Yes, I am. I, I I really am. I'm being mean. I can't stop being mean. Email show of flattery carrying out the supposed counter misinformation program in the White House, pushing Facebook to censor Tucker Carlson for correctly saying that the pandemic uh, vaccine, uh, the COVID, didn't stop transmission. And uh, Tommy Lauren for her strong My Body, My Choice stance. Look at that. Following orders. By the way. Amen. Hold on. Let's just go back. Let's go back in time. Mr. Flaherty, when the Biden administration told Americans that the vaccinated couldn't get the virus, were they guessing or lying? Congressman, um, you know, we, you know, I think first of all, it's important to remember my role in this discussion, which is as a communicator on behalf of you. work for the Biden administration, your assistance to the president. It's a simple question. When they told the American people that if you get the vaccine, you will not get the virus. Was that a guess or was that a lie? Congressman, when we were communicating on behalf of the administration, we were communicating uh, the best information provided by some of the best medical scientists in the world and, and 
Atlanta, Bethesda, and beyond. Um, so uh, uh, our well, role well, is- Let to, me ask you a simple question. Can the vaccinate, the people who got the vaccine, could they still get the virus? Congressman, again, I'm, I'm not here as a medical expert. No, no, that, that's just common. The, 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 and everyone knows that. Of course they can. I'm just asking you a simple question. Well, let me do it this way. What's the definition of misinformation? Uh, Congressman, uh, you know, certainly uh, there's different and varying definitions of mis and disinformation. At the end of the day, the platform. Tell me the, the difference. Tell me what misinformation is. Congressman, I, I, you know, these. He's a. He can't really talk to you, Congressman, because he's got something in his mouth. Okay, I'm being mean. Be nice, kid. Stop being mean. You're hurting people's feelings. These are decisions that the platforms ultimately get to make about how. They I'm not asking that. I'm, I'm a simple question. What's misinformation? Well, Congressman, I, I think it's important in the context of these. How about you, Professor? Can you tell me what misinformation is? I assume it would be saying something was completely untrue. Y yes, that's that's the definition, Professor. Well done, Professor Murr. Well, well done, Professor, Doctor, Lawyer, Scientist, Astronaut. True. Saying something so, that's untrue, but no. with no intent, no intent. Disinformation, this is what all the, the misinformation experts tell us. M misinformation, saying something that's not accurate. Disinformation, saying something that's not accurate with the intent to mislead, right? That sounds right to me. You agree, Mr. Seligman? Those are, that's the common definition in the misinformation industry out there? Yes, my understanding. Okay, that's the definition. So now, Mr. Floyd, how about this question? When the Biden administration told the American people that the vaccinated couldn't get the virus, was it misinformation or disinformation? Congressman, again, we were communicating the best medical research. They were following orders. And we could, uh, we could sit. Don't worry, folks. I'll post a full Twitter thread that Matt Orfla did about this. All right. So hold on. We're not yet. We're not done yet. Hold on. Because remember, we talked about misinformation narratives because we're going to go back to that Zoom call. Let's go back. <sighs> I'm just feasting on this. We brought Becca on to sort of think through, okay, now that we have these misinformation narratives, what do we actually do? Um, <laughs> like, uh, uh, it, is, it is one thing to know that um, there is a lot of conversation online about corruption or, or you know, mental fitness or, or any of these things, um, or, or um, you know, the vice president's record on the crime bill, um, which, you know, is sort of a controversial uh, piece of legislation in, in the early nineties. Um, but it was, it was another to go, okay, now, now what? We brought Becca on to sort of think through, okay, now that we have these misinformation narratives, what do we actually do? Um, <laughs> like, uh, uh, it is, it is one thing to know that, um, there is a lot of conversation online about corruption or, or, you know, mental fitness or, or any of these things. Um, or, or, um, you know, so these guys are just following the orders, man. That's all they're doing, following orders. That's that's it. That's that's all that's all they're good for, following orders. But hold on, there's more. There's more. There's more because uh oh, because then you have this woman named Becca. Also talk about uh, uh also classify talk about Biden's mental decline as disinformation, disinformation around his mental acuity. Because after all, what Biden's still sharp as attack, right? We saw a huge amount of volume and a lot of impact um, on narratives like um, Joe Biden was being manipulated by the radical left and disinformation around his mental acuity. Um, we saw a huge. Now, wait, there's more. Hold on, folks. Yeah, I know some of these videos are a little short, a little, a little short. All right. Because, look, folks, what we're what we're seeing here. What, what we're seeing here in real time is how information is controlled online. All right. So when it comes down to consuming information, trying to find out, is there something wrong? Like what's going on? You know, you, you, you got to You got You got to really look at it as, as a whole, because first of all, I want to pull up this video here. Now, this is Chris Hayes. Apparently everyone on MSNBC has a podcast now because they're flying into our territory. But let's play this video here. The, you know, what they called the Sleepy Joe storyline using Trump's phrase about Biden's age and, and, you know, mental acute mental fitness. That was a problem. It had reach and it had potential impact. The persuadable voters said it would, it would affect their vote choice. And so this manifests itself in a re receptivity to storylines that suggested that he was 
old and physically weak, but it wasn't, a, you know, the real concern is one of his pollsters described to me was that, you know, was that he wouldn't be the author of his presidency. Right. And so the, the original communications team advice on dealing with the age thing was let's set up photo ops where he's going to ride his bicycle. Let's have him jog up the steps to his plane. And I, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering with that infamous fall that we're seeing here, and we're going to rewind that, all right? And not, not, not to be mean, but I'm wondering if somebody did say to Joe, hey, Joe, listen, I need you to run up these stairs. <laughs> Maybe he had an earpiece and it was Obama who said, listen, Joe, listen, pe people are, are not saying you're, you're fit. What do you mean, Jack? I'm totally fit. Well, Joe, you got to prove him wrong by running up those stairs. Do it ops where he's going to ride his bicycle let's have him jog up the steps to oh, his no. plane and this research project pushed back and said like <laughs> oh, i know where i'm going when i pass away i'll see all you beautiful people in heaven when i'm all the way down there in the fiery pits oh. let's have him jog up the steps to his plane and this research project pushed back and said, like, no, they're not, people are not worried that he won't get his steps in in the White House. They are worried that he is not his own man, that he's not. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. And so the response to it, if you were targeted, you know, they 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 started buying search terms like Biden and senile. And so if you went on Google and you searched wow. those terms, they huh. would try to drop a cookie on your web browser so that eventually when you're somewhere off on the web, you know, on YouTube, you might get shown a 15 second video of Biden speaking to camera unedited about his economic policies, like the most banal thing that you can imagine, something that has no apparent connection to his age. Right. But the testing revealed that that was the thing that assuaged that these concerns was like, no, he knows what he believes and he can say it clearly. And so, you know, I think that the most effective tactics to dealing with this disinformation things are the ones that really step back and sort of think about this as a kind of traditional political communications problem, even if it's triggered by this sort of peculiar digital dynamics that sort of set it in motion. Yeah, that's a fascinating story. Oh, wow. Isn't that something? Winning elections in the disinformation age, even though the, the Biden administration said, oh, everything's fine with Joe. Oh, until 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 that debate, even then, Trump, you, you, you could tell that Trump was maybe kind of sort of possibly theoretically feeling sorry for him because he was like, look at him like, can you believe can can you believe this guy? <laughs> no, better yet. Can you believe people actually are putting this guy up on stage? I mean, Biden wasn't all there and he still isn't he still wasn't he was so confused and where am i at where am i going you know not even knowing where he's at breathing in and out somehow biden was protected by a lot of people so there was a dedicated team but we've seen this kind of thing before in antiquity and, yes, even in our modern age of teams of people willing to lie, lie for a politician. But just remember this, too, because the danger was lies. In a day and age when lies are so familiar, when lies are the normal, telling the truth is a foreign concept and offensive to people. Telling the truth is waking up to reality. And the reality is our system is so corrupt that they're willing to put up a puppet to become the leader of the free world. I wonder how many decisions Biden made were of his own volition. I wonder who's really running the ship. Does the office of presidency even mean anything anymore? So I'll end this with uh, this question to you guys. Are you, or are you not surprised that there was a team protecting Biden's image for the last three and a half years? Type one for, Oh my God, I can't believe it. I don't know what to believe anymore. Type two, for those who don't believe it, is this your first time? First time, I bet. It's okay. Come for a hug. I wonder how many twos will be in the chat. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. <sighs>